Well, 2016 is come and gone, and 2017's here. Yay. This is Draft House Drive, and... Table sit. Table, table yeah, sit. we're technically at my apartment, just like in the 2016 award show episode. Table sit. Which we're technically recording after this. But fuck you. Fuck the time. <laughs> fuck the Draft House Drive timeline. We, time. we, our, our lore runs deep here. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, fuck 2016. Yeah, I'm also recording this in the day that Carrie Fisher died, uh, so okay. I guess this is uh, in memory of her, I suppose. She gets a shout out on a no name podcast. R.I.P. Well, anyway, uh, so we talked about our awards, which we well, we will talk about it, it, but you guys will hear the talk. Fuck it, this timeline <laughs> recording bullshit. Here are the movies we're most hyped about for twenty seventeen. For twenty seventeen, or at least that yeah, are supposed to come out. That are supposed yeah, to, if there are no delays, barring delays. Now, Quentin and I, we have extensive lists. Casey only has one, and he'll voice his opinion when we get to it. Yeah, and we'll probably we might okay, chime in on some of these. The reason why I don't have a list is because Quentin never sent hey, it. Uh, I thought I did. You <laughs> didn't though. You thought you did, it's but fun. you did not. So Brett, yours is the first one on the list. All right, so mine, I. We'll say a lot of these movies I know nothing about. Uh, like an hour, like well, not an hour earlier, like a couple hours ago, Quentin was reading off yeah. a list of movies that I might be interested in. I said, yeah, sure, why not? And there were a few of them I did hear about, and there's a few I even forgot about. But this first one is Suburbicon. Now, I'll tell you this. It's the ne it's the newest movie by George Clooney. The last movie he did was Monuments Men, and the movie before that was uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. I've not seen either of them, but I heard Monuments Men was, like, iffy at best. What are either or about? Uh, Monuments Men is the one that came out two years ago that was about, um, like, stealing art back from the Nazis. Do you remember that? It had, like, Matt Damon that. and Bill Murray, John Goodman. It had, like, a really, really good cast. Then it came out and it was like, eh. Oh, that's a shame. I, I vaguely remember. Yeah, and then about Confessions that. about of a Dangerous Mind. I can't remember what it's about, but it stars Sam Rockwell, and Sam Rockwell's awesome. I've never even heard of that guy. He's the guy who's in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Moon. Is he uh, the main? No, he's not the main dude. He's not Arthur Dent. Like no, that, he's that, the... That's Martin Freeman. He's the uh, king. He's the king. He's the two-head guy. Oh, Zephon Beeblebrox. Yep, that's, uh, that did not sound, sound like you just said a real word. <laughs> that's the name <laughs> of the president yeah, of the galaxy. That sounds like you had a stroke. With a head within a head, and he drinks the, uh, what the fuck is it called? It's... I'm going to feel like such a fucking loser for not knowing the name of this drink, but I know the description is, it feels like you're having your brain smashed out by a large gold brick wrapped around a lemon. And I forget what it's called. But so yeah, it's a new movie by George Clooney, and it's written by him, and then the Coen brothers, and the Coen brothers like always yeah. make good movies. And this is still Suburbicon, right? Yeah, this yeah. is still Suburbicon. Because I'm down for more Coen brothers. I love No Country for Old Men as a book, and I need to watch it as a movie. Yeah. And I know Casey will eventually catch I up. I will with eventually that. get to it, yeah. Yes, did you I, finish The Martian yet? I have, yes, I did. We will talk about that after we record this. That works for me. Yeah. But one reason that I'm actually hyped for this movie that I just saw is that one of the people in it is Oscar Isaac. Yes, that's like, uh, that's Poe Dameron. Poe Dameron. Poe Dameron. Oh, po Dameron. From Kylo Ren is Adam Driver. Adam Driver. But yeah. like that dude, he's a really, really good actor. You didn't get to see it today. I wanted to show it to you, but in Ex Machina, he plays like yeah. one of the main mm -hmm. dudes. Woo! He's freaking awesome. All right. Yeah. Down for more Poe. Okay. Oh boy, I could use this. The next movie, and this is on my list, but it's not on yours. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested in it, but it's not something I'm super hyped for. The Masterpiece. Now, this is a movie that I heard about a couple years back, and it stars James Franco as Tommy Wiseau. No, you know who Tommy oh, Wiseau is. Oh my fucking yep. god damn it. It's about the making Fuck. of the room, and I am... God damn it. Uh, I am so excited for this. And it was based on a book too, right? Uh, yes, it was based on a book. It was based on a book that was written by one of the guys who worked on the crew on the movie. Okay, so it wasn't made by Tommy Wiseau. So it's a movie no. based on a book, based on the crew member, based on the movie. Not based on a crew member, written by written a crew, by crew, crew member. Written by a crew member. That worked, worked, on, the movie, that worked the on the movie. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Oh because the room is a piece of garbage. I need to watch it again, because we watched it in a group at my Christmas party. That's the best but... way to watch it. Oh yeah, you were there. I don't want to watch watch that piece of shit ever. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to so have to watch it again, because I wasn't paying attention to that. It was so it. bad. Oh my god. Yeah, so I, mean, bad. I love garbage, so it's, it's yeah. going to be great for me. Uh, um, yeah, that, that's all that I, I'm just excited because yeah. I, I hate, I love shitty movies. And the next one is on both Quentin and my list. It's God Particle, which is a tentative title, which apparently is going to be the third movie in the Cloverfield series. Okay. Now, so far, the first two Cloverfield movies, 
they only have the thematic link of aliens. And I'm fine with that. Yeah, I, I want mean, them I want them to yeah. keep the series an anthology series because the first one was okay. Mm. The second one was that goddamn was awesome. awesome. Did Ten you see Ten Cloverfield Lane? I haven't seen either. Ten Cloverfield Lane actually. released last year, 2015, right? 2016. It was February yeah. this year. Oh fuck, that was no, on March. March. That was on Okay, well I need to That's append my, my list. I need to put it on I need to append my uh awards. Thankfully we didn't record that yet, You're but welcome. we have. You're welcome. Thanks to timeline fuckery. Yeah, but, but yeah, I mean, it's I'm kind of digging the Twilight Zone vibe I'm getting from it, where it's an episodic, like, each individual thing has thematic ties in that the world is getting fucked by aliens. And to think, 10 yeah. Cloverfield Lane was a complete surprise. They dropped the trailer, like, three weeks before the movie came yeah, out. Yeah, no, and it had John Goodman in it, and John Goodman was goddamn terrifying. Yeah, he was. Like, he, it was crazy how scary he was. Yeah. Now, the next one is one that we can now all relate to because it is called Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, and it's directed by the same guy who directed that movie. You didn't tell Ooh. me about this guy. No, you might have. You said it was by the director of In Bruges. We yeah. just saw In Bruges right before we uh, yeah. recorded yeah. this podcast. Yeah, it's by the same guy who directed In Bruges. Same writer? Same. It's director and writer, same. Okay, Wait, cool. it was Three Billboards Outside of what? Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Ebbing, Missouri? Ebbing, Missouri. Okay, so what's the concept? So now I might add that to my hype From what list. I see, it's a dark comedy. Okay. Well, yeah, dark comedy. If After it's months like his style. passed without a culprit in her daughter's murder case, uh, Mildred Hayes makes a bold move, painting three signs leading into her town with a controversial message directed at William Willerby, uh, who's played by Woody Harrelson, the town's what a revered chief of, chief of police. Will Will. With his second in command officer, Dixon, Sam Rockwell. Uh, Z Beeble Brox. Nice. Whatever they his fucking name Brox. is. An immature mother's boy with a penchant for violence gets involved in the battle between Mildred, Mildred and Ebbing's law enforcement is only exacerbated. Now, you're going to like this, Casey, okay. because you know who one of the people on the cast is? Who? Peter Dinklage. Fuck yeah. Yeah. God, God is with this dude and employing dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that in Seven Psychopaths, his other movie, but he's still... Well, he's yeah, running two for huge. three... With dwarves in his movie. Yeah, this, this is only his third movie. Or the, the one that's coming yeah. out this year. Well, I mean, after Game of Thrones, Peter Dinklage can get literally any role he well, wants. I mean, he was also in Pixels. So. Yeah, I was going to say... Dude, no, he, I mean, I said he can get any and role he, was he wants. An elf. Not That was before Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, I know, but he was still an elf. I'm just saying, he... I, like, he now, was also an underdog. He played the bad He was, under, yeah, he was. Underdog. The, underdog sneezed in his face, right? Yeah. And, oh, and, God. And underdog that, was, and that underdog movie. was voiced by the guy who played uh, My Name is Earl. And That's my right, Earl, I remember that. Who I met when I met Kevin Smith the second time. It's funny That's... that you mentioned Underdog, because that was actually one of my childhood movies that I repressed <laughs> up until this very moment. <laughs> Fuck both of you. You're welcome. And then the... God damn it. The... The... the Peter Dinklage henchman was Patrick Warburton, who's the yes, guy who voices I, fucking Brock Sampson. I I love everything's Patrick connected Warburton. Illuminati. <laughs> um, oh God. Okay. Can I add? Uh, can I add something to my anti hype? Yeah. Uh, the Death Note movie. Okay. Wait, what do you I, mean anti hype? Are you not hyped for that? I'm dreading its release. <laughs> so I will say this: I don't, I'm not excited for it. But the only reason I'm excited for it is because Willem Dafoe is a good bad dude. I oh that's right I. Like, I thought up until just now that, like, like... Willem I Dafoe is playing Ryuk, which is disturbing to me. I completely forgot that they were making a Death Note movie. Yeah, so... Oh, right. damn. Yeah, discuss. I need to grab Death Clippers, too. Uh, okay. You were gonna do it on the fucking podcket. Yeah. Do it afterwards, Don't. God damn it. Uh, you son of a bitch. So, what the fuck are you... Damn it. God damn it. Wait, okay. but I didn't know... Is it why... Brett, why are you dreading it? Uh, it's because, like, live action... Okay, I'm gonna wait till I get into your shot. It's because live action anime series, it just doesn't fucking work. Like, I've seen trailers, I've seen bits and pieces of the actual movies, it just doesn't work. Now, if it's a live action adaptation of a movie anime, which we'll get to in a bit, uh, those of you know, who know what I'm talking about, you'll find out. But uh, it may work because it's an adapt. It's like a live it's action. It's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. It's a movie adaptation of a movie, yeah. not a movie adaptation of the series. the series. You're not condensing a series down into a movie or even like doing half of it. Yeah. I guess that's true. It's, it's yeah. not really the fact that they're going from animation to live action because Disney proves that it kind of works mm -hmm. between, say, Cinderella to Cinderella. It's the one yeah. I saw. It yeah. worked. In my opinion, it wasn't the best, but it worked. It but worked. again, it was because it was a movie to a movie, movie. not an animated movie series to a movie. Okay, that makes sense. Because even within certain, I, like I'm going to give an example from anime, they have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which mm -hmm. is an anime series adaptation of a really long-running manga series. Mm -hmm. 
And within the series, like on Crunchyroll, they had these like movie adaptations of the anime. Basically, they didn't they did like redid some animation and mm-hmm. they condensed the plot down of a whole season into an hour, and it was terrible. Oh. I mean, the only the only example of like where it was like complete shit that comes to my mind is the Last Airbender. Obviously, well, yeah. Actually, there's another one. They made an Attack on Titan movie this year. I heard about that. And well, it got, wasn't like, that only released in Japan though? No, it was released here too. They had really? a showing at the draft house. Oh, I didn't know. And that. we didn't go because it was trash. <laughs> no, yeah. like I'm not shooting you. It, it got like a twenty something on Metacritic. I'm not it. shocked. It was trash. That's... And that's because Attack on Titan is trash. Well, yeah. I've only seen the first episode. Good. <laughs> the, good. The first episode, in my opinion, is the only good episode. If you take it as a series of not be the first episode mm-hmm. is tonally different. Like not totally, tonally different. Tonally different okay. from the rest of the series. The rest of the series is basically like any other giant robot anime, but the giant robots are made of meat. Instead of uh, instead of metal bits, yeah. And if you take it as that, as a campy action series, it's totally fine. That's okay. how I took it. And if you go in expecting it to be a drama series, you're gonna be Not disappointed. So much. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. Now the next one on our, on both of our lists and yes. probably all three of ours is called Coco. It's the next Disney Pixar movie. Yes. Now Brett, okay. I can see this being your most hyped movie in the next yeah, year. Yeah, I would actually have to say that along with maybe one or two other ones on my list because. It's fucking Disney Pixar. Yep. And it has a Day of the Dead aesthetic. I can agree with that. What is I, what's it what's it gonna be about Coco? It doesn't say anything it does, right there. There's, there's have, literally just a picture and that's it. It's like the okay. Love Row banner. And so far, you can definitely tell it's gonna be a Day of the Dead. They were at least yeah. one Mexico. image, I think, so yeah. far, and it's just the main character on a guitar. Yeah, it's, okay. I mean, that's fine by me. Because like the less I'll know about it going in, but I fucking love Pixar. I know it is funny. Yeah. Same. It's my passion. Who doesn't? Everyone loves Pixar. I, like between movies like Wall-E and Inside Out, they've affected me mm-hmm. like emotionally. How I live, maybe not how I live my life. But yeah, they've affected my outlook on life. Sure, it is. Yeah, it's just gonna be great. I'm the uh, the only Pixar movie I was disappointed in, even slightly, was The Last Dinosaur, or The Good Dinosaur. Good I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. It's all right. Okay. Out of all the Pixar movies, it's not the worst. Cars 2. I was going to say, I was going to say, are you sure you just want to yeah. say you're only disappointed in the good yes. Dinosaur? Yes, but Cars it's, two. it's not the worst in the fact that it's a bad movie. It's just dull, mm-hmm. and it's very pretty, but it's, I didn't feel like there's a whole lot of substance. Yeah. Okay. I it, it didn't affect me in any real way other than, oh, I like dinosaurs. But speaking of cars... Yeah, the next one is actually Cars 3. Now, have we all seen the trailer for it? Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the only reason why I'm putting it on my hype list. One, because it's Disney Pixar, and two, because the trailer makes it look like it's they're gonna straying be like really away from... It's going to be kind of thing. Yeah, it's going to be the dark reboot of Cars. Oh no, Light the Queen's dead, and see, fucking whatever. See, I'm, 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 I, I'm conflicted about this movie, because first of all, the trailer did look... Well, I can't say it looked good or looked bad, because it was just... Yeah. That's it. That's the whole thing. It's like it's trying There's, to be too dark. Now, here's the problem, is they put that trailer out, but you know what's going to happen when you go in theater? Mm-hmm. You know when you go into theater, that thing's going to be rolling around, and then they're going to cut to, like, fucking Mater, and he's going to be like, oh, no! Oh, my God. Stupid. Mater? Oh, uh, no. No, 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 not Mater. Also, that's going to scar some kids. That's going to scar some kids. Hell yeah. That's well, gonna straight good. Up the Lion King things. did, so that doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> that's Disney. Yeah, but see, here's the difference, is the Lion King only killed... Didn't kill the main character. This one is possibly going to kill the fucking main character. That is true. You don't do that. Only Game of Thrones does that. Only Game of Thrones. Well, it's going to be the Game of Thrones reboot of Cars. That's not how that works. The Game of Tracks. Ah, no. Okay. I mean, I mean, you like, guys can talk about the next one. Yes. Ooh, fuck yeah. Power Rangers, boy. Go, go, Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. Woo! I remember specifically when I first got a Netflix account. For the first good couple of months, it was all just Power Rangers. What series do they yeah. have on there? Because I may need to like Almost Power Watch. Almost everything, I feel I'm like. sure they have Mighty God Morphin. Do, yeah, they ha- yes. do they have Time Force? Yes. Okay, they good, because that was another big one of but my the thing is, they have, they have all of Mighty Morphin. You fucking like, nerds. Like, all of it. It's, it's yes. a huge ass thing. It was way more than what I remember. Yeah, no, because I only had like certain VHS tapes. I had like maybe yeah. 10 episodes max. Same. Yeah, like, yeah, even yeah. The, uh, do they have Rescue Force? Which one is that? That was the one where they get like fire engines. Oh yeah, 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 the yeah. sick ass underwater base. Yes, possibly yeah, 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 yeah. the best transformation sequence of yes. all of them. Yeah. I will say, Time Force probably had the best Zord entrance because it's just a giant robot that punches them my- backwards through time. Yes, yeah, and yeah, it's no, no, time, amazing. The Time Force, right? My my personal favorite season was uh, Dino Thunder. That that's the was, that that's was. the one that I watched the most of. As a yeah, kid. is that the one with like the cool like cell phone morphers and? No, no, no it's it's like they had a. 
It's the one where. Or was, that just, or was that just the wolf one where the wolf is a cell phone more? No, that's uh, that's Wild Force. Thank the one that I'm talking about. You. The one that I'm talking about is when Tommy comes back as the Black Ranger. They're, oh they're, shit! Kinda, Tommy comes back. Yeah, no, yeah. It's kind of like a revamp of Mighty Morphin because it's like dinosaurs. Yeah. And Tommy comes back as the Black Ranger, and he's like, he, but he comes, he becomes like a. Is, is the a Black fucking, Ranger the White Ranger of the season, or is he, he just like? There's the actually a White Ranger in that season. Okay. But like he he becomes a high school science teacher. Which is oh like God. it because it, 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 he gets a finished. PhD in fucking well, I don't remember what it was. It's, he gets a PhD. You mean he's a pretty huge dinosaur, right? Yeah, pretty Power huge Rangers dinosaur. And yeah. He has the T Rex. That was that was that was my favorite season. Oh yeah. man, that was it was so good. But between Brian Cranston being uh, Zordon, Zimmy Zordon, that's and right. Then, like just look at these fucking costumes. Oh my they God. are like they uh, they look so dope. They look they in my opinion they look kind. I was kind of weirded out at first, but the more I'm looking at them, it's like. This See, I would I agree mean. that the costumes are pretty good. The only gripe that I have is like the six packs. No, the six packs are fine. Who cares? Batman has a six pack, but mm -hmm. that's because he actually earned it. Yeah. Now, the problem that I have with these costumes. So when everyone saw Jurassic World last year, well, mm -hmm. not last year, but 2015, since we're releasing this 2017. Yeah. Uh, when Jurassic World came out, everyone was like, "God, that movie's so stupid. She's running in high heels. That's not how that." Oh, no, does the pink ranger have high heels? Both of them do. The pink and the yellow ranger have fucking high heels. Really? You can't see it because it cuts them off at the end. Cool. Wait, well, seriously? Yes, seriously. In my opinion, they're exosuits, so anything the applies. Biggest, I mean, the biggest complaint that I have about the costumes themselves is just that the girls don't have skirts. Because in every single that Power is Rangers true, they, and they've always had skirts. Always. But the thing so was, that's... only the Pink Ranger had a skirt, because in Japan, the Yellow Ranger was a dude. I can believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, straight up, the Yellow Ranger was a dude. But, like, but every single girl also, always had a skirt. As an aside, the fucking Black Ranger being an African American man and the Yellow Ranger Finally, being an Asian right? lady. No, okay, they. What okay. the fuck was that? They, yeah, because originally, like in Mighty Morphin's the very first season, they had a white cheerleader as the Pink Ranger, yes. they had an Asian girl as the Yellow Ranger, they had a black guy as, as the, the Black, black Ranger. Ranger, they had a nerd as the Blue Ranger, and then they had the jock, like yeah. karate teacher, as the Red Ranger. Yeah. Like you could not get any more serious. And than the White Ranger that. was practically a clone of the Red Ranger. In terms Essentially, of like character. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then the Green Ranger. And but then, then the they changed Ranger. it halfway through the season, where it became a black girl became the Yellow Ranger, yeah. and then an Asian guy became the Black Ranger. Well, so they the like movie, switched. They fight Ivan Ooze. No, that was before Son the movie. Oh, they changed it? it before the movie with okay. Ivan Ooze. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. They changed and, it before. And that is right, because doesn't the White Ranger come back as the Red Ranger in uh, the drag racing one? Whatever that one's called. Oh, well, I, okay. First, they come back. Tommy, the, the White Ranger in Mighty Morphin, comes back as the oh, Red Ranger in, in Zeo, and then he comes back as the Red Ranger in Turbo Force, but then halfway through Turbo Force, they get... See, this is where, this is good. You proved that you know more than me about Power Rangers. I, I think, I think Power we've Rangers. spent more time talking about Power yeah, okay, Rangers should, than we did talking about, like, the first seven movies we're, that we were talking about. Because we're so fucking hyped. <laughs> nerds, I'm so yeah. hyped so no. much. I'm gonna see that so many times. No. I will see it with you so many All times. Alright, good. I'm good. gonna have to see it with you because <laughs> I'm the only one who's always on the podcast. <laughs> You can, and I you have can to buy leave an tickets. You can leave an episode to us. No, I have to go see it. I have to. Every, we're going to release three them. episodes for it. Why? <laughs> because we can. Because we can. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, no. So next movie, it's not on Brett's list. No, it is not. But it is on mine, and it is it. The new uh, adaptation of Stephen King. Ha ha ha, that was so punny. Hey, fuck you. So. <laughs> who's playing Pennywise? Uh, I can't. Uh, Bill Skarsgård. I have no idea. Who I don't know who the name that is. sounds familiar. But you know who's playing the main dude? Who? The main kid? Or yeah, you know who's playing the main kid? Eleven. No, the guy from Stranger Things. Oh, okay. The main dude, which the not, young not, dude, not the guy who gets sent to the upside down. Yeah, the the one. Oh, who, the, not Will, the, but the, the one. Yes, yeah, no, not the Will, sister. The, the, the brother of the sister yes. who had sex with him. Yeah, he's gonna yeah, yeah. he's gonna play the the main kid. Ooh. Exactly. See, okay. you guys saying this is gonna be stupid. Yeah. I, I just, the only reason why I didn't put it on my list because I didn't see the original. Yeah, no, don't see the original. Honestly, this is one of the cases where a remake is completely justifiable. The only thing that made the original it good was Tim Curry. Was it the uh, shower scene where you? Who did Tim Curry shower? play? Pennywise. He oh, played did the he? Clown. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen the original. Yeah, he played Pennywise. Oh. Okay. He's had some of the weirdest fucking roles in the cinema. Yeah. He's yeah. had Doctor Frankenfurter. Yes. Pennywise mm -hmm. and the Ooze from Fern Gully, and the I guy from Clue, Clue and the hotel manager from, from Home Alone too. too. Yeah, but yeah, so I'm I and I think this is really good because, like I said, the old it was garbage, and they're remaking it, and hopefully it'll be good. Whereas everyone else, they're taking good movies and remaking them, and then they're garbage. Well, I mean, it's it's Most already gonna have a huge load of hype from people who haven't already seen the first movie because of all the fucking clown attacks that happened in 2016. Yes. 
Like, okay, wait, I heard that that See, was a I marketing... It wasn't. That. It wasn't? It wasn't. It just was a thing. Stephen King confirmed it, and so did the director. It wasn't. It's just a thing that happened. It's just a fucking thing that happened, because fuck, fuck 2016. Fuck 2016 so this much. Is, this is the best year. Uh, it needs to be. This is the year where memes became real. Uh, yeah, they did, yeah. So... Meme magic is After real. my gushing about it, because I've read the book and I'm excited for it, the next one we have to talk to is one that's going to be a critic choice one, and that is Darkest Hour. Now, I believe I only, put that one on mine, too. The only reason that I'm excited for this is because Gary Oldman is in it, and he's playing Winston Churchill. That's about the only reason why Wait, what's on Darkest too. Hour about? Uh, it's, it's about Winston Churchill. I mean, yeah, okay. Is, yeah, it, just, hold on. is Winston, it like a documentary? Winston, Winston Churchill. Not a documentary, but... Biopic is the word you're looking for. Okay. And Winston Churchill unexpectedly becomes prime minister and must decide whether to pursue peace with Nazi Germany or fight a war that might that might well be doomed. Now, reading that makes me more excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, a World War II drama that isn't focused on the American, war front. Yeah. Yes, please. Ooh. Political World War II drama. Political World good. War II drama oh, from a non-American perspective. I'm excited. Yes. Yeah. Especially. Damn. In, because I want you, Casey, I want you to look at this picture. That's Gary fucking Oldman. No. That's that serious black bullshit. right there, man. Holy shit. I know. I can what the fuck? You know, if it wasn't for the chin, I could kind of see it. Only kind of, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, really like, hard, like the that slightest dude, resemblance without that the chin. That dude becomes his roles. Like, everything he does. If you look at some of his older roles, like, one of the first roles that he had was... First of all, him is fucking Dracula in Francis Ford Coppola's uh, Dracula. I didn't realize he was Dracula. He was fucking Dracula in That's the dope. Francis Ford Coppola he did, one. He killed his Commissioner Gordon in the... Uh, Commissioner mm -hmm. Gordon, Sirius, Sirius Black. Black yeah. He was also... That uh, one, he played the corrupt cop in Leon was fantastic. Yep, he was a crazy dude in Leon the Professional. He was also the bad guy in The Fifth Element. I did not know about that one. I didn't see the film. He was also, uh, and this is the one that I haven't seen that I really want to, he also played Sid Vicious in a uh, Sex Pistols biopic. That's awesome. And from what I understand, he's fucking amazing in it. I can only vaguely, like the know. vaguest resemblance. That's what that's he insane. does. That's insane. That's how he do, man. And that's like, that's not like plastic or anything added on his face. That's him, right? No, he's, that's probably makeup. I yeah, because at that point, that's just unhealthy. Yeah. Yeah. A, yeah. Oh my shit. I'm just shit. saying. I'm just saying he becomes his roles in terms like you can't tell it's him half the time. Holy shit. <laughs> That's probably why he doesn't get the recognition he deserves sometimes. Exactly. That's yeah. why he's one of my favorites. Now the next one is one that I'm excited for because it is a Kickstarter funded movie. Mm -hmm. And that's Super Troopers 2. Have you seen Super Troopers, Casey? Because he hasn't. Is, he that hasn't the, is that the one with like the fucked up cops? The retarded. There are so many movies like that. No, it is. Like, there are, but there's like, I, vaguely. I think there was like one scene where they're trying to pull over a couple of Germans, and then like one, they're all the Germans are like on ecstasy or something, and they're really horny. Or so, I don't, I don't remember that. All uh, the Super Troopers probably is a space movie. Oh no, um, no, it's not. No, that's Never Starship mind. Troopers. Oh, that's Starship Troopers. Troopers. No, like Super that. Troopers. There's two reasons I'm excited for it. One is because the first movie is fucking hilarious. Like, there's two scenes in it. One of them is where, uh, where they're like, uh, where they pull this guy over, and then they're like, okay. We're going to see how many times you can say meow. And he starts saying, I got to pull you over right meow. And he just keeps saying it. And the dude's sitting in the car like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> oh, it's so funny. And then the other one is a scene that you have to watch the movie to see, but it's hilarious. And it's a Kickstarter movie, and that, like, never happens. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm excited for it. Now, the next one is also one that only I'm excited for, but Brett is... But Brett may not I think I passed on it just because yeah. I... Like, a lot of these ones I passed out of sheer ignorance. I'm not gonna lie. Mine is called The Battle of the Sexes. And have you seen Little Miss Sunshine? Yes. You have? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Ooh, I've, seen, I've seen that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the same director. Yeah, I know. Ooh. I'm just saying. I'm passing Same director. It. And it has Emma Stone and mm -hmm. Steve Carell in it. Mm -hmm. And it's about, like, a tennis match that happened in the 70s. Mm. What, what was the significance of the tennis oh, match? It was a guy against a girl. And the guy was, like, super sexist. So yeah. it was like a, it was like a girl, oh, was like a girl okay. power moment in history. Is Emma Stone going against Steve yes. Carell? Yeah. Oh, okay. And see, the only reason I'm excited for it is because it's by the same dude who did Little, did Little yeah. Miss Sunshine, and I love that movie. That, that was, movie, that was really, movie. really good. See, that, good. that scene in Little Miss Sunshine where the kid finds out he's colorblind, so he can be a pop. Oh my yeah, god, that, that was true. Me. That was god, good. Man, that was so good. Yeah, Paul Dano, right? That was Paul Dano, right? Yeah, that was Paul yeah, Dano. Yeah, yeah, same yeah. dude from uh, fucking Swiss, Swiss Army, Army Man. Oh, are you fucking serious? Like the main dude? <laughs> wait, wait, no, the, not the main dude. The kid. Do you guys... The kid? The dude who found... No, okay, wait. Not Not Manny, but... The, like the guy that controlled Manny. The guy yeah. that controlled Manny. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah, that no, okay, wait. That's you, what I called the main dude. dude. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so do you guys know Jake and Amir? Do you know who that yes. is? I know. Okay. I, I recognize the names. I've never Jake, seen Jake. Like the Jake in real life, like made a, a Twitter that's like the real Paul Dano or something like that, or like yeah. Paul Dano or something. And Paul Dano doesn't even have a Twitter himself. It's just him tweeting as Paul Dano, and no one knows. Beautiful. It was fucking amazing. Oh, oh you God. know. Wait a minute. I know. I mean, no, he really he really said on his own podcast. Okay. But like. Every every person that's tweeted the real like Paul Dano thinks, didn't, like, thinks it actually is Paul Dano. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. But yeah, I'm I'm excited for that movie because it's the same director. Now here's another. A lot of these I'm just excited for because it's a director mm-hmm. returning. This next one is because of a movie that I showed him today that he was he was like this movie's fucking weird. It's called Killing of a Sacred Deer. Okay. Now this is a movie directed by the same guy who directed The Lobster. Which I thought... I really want to see The Lobster. We watched it today! Oh. See, I was really tired, so I guess I didn't get the full experience, but I just thought it was kind of dull. Again, when it just probably when was that thing. released? Was it this, this year? year? This year, okay. Then was I'm gonna, it the I'm release at the beginning? Then I know what movie I'm going to talk about, about like the one that I missed. Okay, yeah. Well, te- opportunity. technically it was released this year, because it got released in like January oh, February like, this year, but in terms of film festivals, it premiered sometime in 2015. Yeah, I'm general... Still, I'm still... I'm we still my general public release yeah. here at Draft House Drive. Well, then... Again, the general public release for some movies is like January, and that's because they have like a screening that covers like three theaters across the whole damn nation, and then they release it wide like a couple months later. Yeah, well, even then, it's still within the same thing. So, yeah, but I'm excited for that because man, the lobster is fucking weird. I want to see that so much. Weird as shit, man. Oh man, so fucking goddamn man. Movies fucked up. (laughs) Okay, so the next one is also another one that only I'm hyped for. Um, oh, no, actually, the next one is one that you're hyped for, Brett. It's called Valerian and a City of a Thousand Planets, directed by the same dude who did Fifth Element. Yes, he also did... One. Is what that the other one? Really Leon did? the Professional. Yes, is that the I'm one with, very excited for that with, one. With uh, Cara Delevingne? Yes, um, okay. yeah, it has Cara Delevingne. And the guy who played the... Bad Dude in Chronicle. Yes, and yes. Green Goblin in the Amazing Green Go- uh, We don't talk about that. New has Goblin. Clive Owen. Who is he again? He was the... He was, uh, Brett, he was the dude in, um... In fuck, what was it? He was the dude in who played the main dude in Sin City. Marv? No, not Marv. He played the Dwight for a Dame. Yeah, Dwight. He played Dwight. The Dame to kill for. Okay. Or the one after. He's going to be the main for. character in this. Movie. He's he no. He's in the movie. The oh, main character the is played by someone else. Okay. Well, I'm, even then, I fucking love the unprofessional. I'm sh- from the vibes I'm getting from the Fifth Element from all the trailers I've seen thanks to the Draft House. I'm sure I'd be down as hell for that movie. Oh yeah, you would love it. It's a, it's would, a party. That is one yeah. of those movies where you watch it and you're like, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, like, I need to watch that one. But if if it's anything like either one of those two movies, even splitting the difference between them. And I'm you know who else them. is in this damn movie? Fucking John Goodman, because why not? Yeah. And Rihanna. And Rihanna. Like the singer Rihanna? Rihanna, Rihanna. That's oh, he's in okay. Movie. So, yeah. I mean, that one I could pass on, but John Goodman. John I'm Goodman. down with that. John Goodman. Mr. Rex it- from We're Back. Oh, oh yeah, shit, fucking you're is. right. The God best role he's ever landed. Fuck, fuck you, man. No. <laughs> the simultaneous fuck you. I love the Next one, guys. maybe Casey's excited for, I don't know, mm-hmm. Transformers The Last Night? Anyone? Uh, Let me see the picture uh, on this uh, shit. Well, what, now, what? I will tell this. Why that, is, that's actually a pretty dope pretty picture. fucking dope. Is that a fucking Mecha... Wait, me... Mecha King... Is Gorgon. No, Gorgon, Ooh. not Gorgon. Is uh, it? It's a Hydra. I'm thinking King Ghidra. From no, Godzilla. Yeah, Godzilla. That's what yeah. I was trying to is say. Is that a I mean, Mecha King Ghidra? The only reason I'm robots. not as hyper as I should be is just because, like, every, like, the Transformers movies have been on, like, a downhill slope for me. Like, I, I, I really like the fourth one was pretty good. For, uh, compared to three and two. Mm. But when you compare to well, three and two, anything could be good. You yeah, can watch, I suppose. And uh, you know why four could probably be good? Because it had the best Transformer in it. Grimlock. Grimlock. Oh, he's a fucking T Rex dinosaur. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the fourth, mm. one, the fourth one is okay. There were some things with, like. But it was fucking three hours long. You don't yeah. make an action movie no, three no, hours long. No. You don't do it. I think that's one of my favorite. It's not acceptable. Yeah. I mean, I, but for me, like, I think, like, I, I naturally enjoyed, like, Transformers the most, and then, like, it all just went kind of down. I, mean, I just like Transformers one and two because Megan Fox was in it. I was in like I was yeah. like twelve, and I'm like ah, same, yeah. yeah, yeah same. See, I will say I I do like Transformers one, not mm. on a critical level, but on a turn off your brain and watch giant robots punch the shit yeah, out of each other. Sure. Because I'm a man who likes his giant robot fights. Yeah, yeah. And I also I'm also a man who likes his monsters punching each other. Of course. That's why I love Godzilla. That's why I love Pacific Rim, and mm-hmm. that's why I love depressing as shit anime like yeah. Evangelion, which right, is. Probably the most depressing shit I've ever seen. 
You guys both need to watch that. You, no, you should, you should watch Requ- Requiem for a Dream and then tell me I the most will. depressing. Oh man, I'm Requiem, saying, Requiem for anime. the Dream that, for a Dream. That's uh, Jared Leto. Yes, Jared I know, Leto's. Okay, yeah. I don't know. That's not ass to ass, is it? That is ass to ass. Yeah, it is. It? Nice. Okay. I haven't. It's the hair. It's ass the, to it's ass. The, it's, the, it's the one where it follows the four people yeah. over like drug addiction, right? Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I want Fucking to. That's the one with the weird ass like refrigerator. Yes, I yeah. think so. It's been a long time since I've seen it, though. Mm-hmm. But every movie, it's been a long time since I've seen it most of the time. Then maybe, Casey, are you excited <sighs> for the fate of the Furious? I'm absolutely not. Because, okay, I am a hardcore Fast and Furious franchise fan. Really? I love it a lot. Yeah. Ooh, I, I know this. I really love it a lot. But they absolutely should have ended it at 7. Like, without, without Paul Walker, it's just, no. You mean Sky Mission? What? Yo, yeah. my fucking god. Okay, la- okay, the very last Fast and Furious, like, uh, Seven? Was Furious 7, yeah, that annoyed the shit out of me, because they broke physics, like, ten times in. That's what all the movies do. No, but, like, especially in the seventh one. Like, so much of it, I was just sitting there like, that is physically wrong. Physically and completely wrong. That cannot happen and should not happen. <laughs> so many times. It annoyed the hell out of me. And, but, like, the, the tribute to Paul Walker, and they had a tribute to Paul Walker at the very end, which is very, very nice, and something that I, as a fan of the franchise, enjoyed and appreciated. But, like, that gave me enough closure to be like, no, don't make any more. <laughs> and they... Fuck! Ah! The only reason why I call it Sky Mission, though, is because it was the title of the movie in Japan. Oh, what? oh that's right, it was! Mm. It was. Because that's they right. dropped cars from Sky. Yeah, they Therefore, did. Yeah, it was yeah. Called Sky Mission. They did. I thought you. I thought you meant it's because they they jumped the cars between the buildings in Abu no. Dhabi. Oh man, which is also fucking ridiculous as hell. That's why I don't watch <sighs> those movies. Shit. The first one was pretty good though. Okay, so the next one is again because I'm a Stephen King fan. It's The Dark Tower, but it's not just because I'm a Stephen King fan. There, uh, first Matthew McConaughey, mm-hmm. who is like really, really good in it right now, right? Okay. Reconnaissance. Reconnaissance, exactly, the reconnaissance. <laughs> Second is Idris Elba, who's fucking dope. Wait, wait, remind me who that is again. Uh, Captain in uh, Pacific Rim. He's the dude who's le- What did you just say? I haven't seen Pacific Rim. You disappoint me on a spiritual sorry. level. I haven't. It just, okay, we're, 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 I'm seeing something with him in it, if you can rem- Idris Elba. Yes, okay, I know who that is. Alright, okay. Jesus fuck Trump. I'm sorry. Oh, and I just looked at the uh, cast. Rorschach's gonna be in it. Dead serious. Yep, Jack Ooh. Earl Haley. I forgot his name, I just was thinking Walter Kovacs, because to There's me no he was Walter Rorschach. <laughs> he did a very convincing So, I, and, and I'm only excited for it because of the Stephen King, but... And those actors, but the book was garbage. I read the first. I tried to read the first book, and I was genuinely bored, and I put it down. And you that's just the say, first time that's ever happened. Did you say it gets better? I heard that it gets better, but I haven't. I I haven't gone. Wait for Watchmen or Dark Tower. Dark Tower. Watchmen is a trip all the way through. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen the movie or read the books or read the comics, but that's what I assume. Now the next one is possibly going to be garbage. Possibly not. Mm -hmm. The first trailer looked pretty decent. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Five. Mm -hmm. Did you see the trailer for it? Yes, I did. I'm also a very hardcore. I was a hardcore fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean. uh, Did you see all four? Yes, I have seen all four. Oops. Yes, I. Oops. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. I've I've seen the first three like all multiple times, like yeah, a good amount sense, of times. I've seen the fourth one once, the first in one, theaters, and then never again. The first one was really really good. I yes. think the second one, I don't think they should have ended it on a cliffhanger. That's mm. what I think. I think the second one should not have ended on a cliffhanger. They yeah, should have I given us an actual ending, I and then release the third one as a different story. Instead, the second and the third movie were the were same thing, but the same thing. Half. Yeah, split in half. And split in half. See, and I the have... third one was fucking five, three hours long. Yeah, it's bullshit. The fourth, See, the fourth one was just the biggest. I haven't seen bullshit. it. and I'm not going. To. You do. You should, don't. No, nope. you don't need to. Don't play it. I've only seen the one where they send Jack Sparrow to purgatory and his ship gets abducted by crabs. I think <laughs> that's the third one. Yeah, I was gonna okay, say that's the third one. You haven't seen the first? I've watched none. The first of them. one's actually pretty. First one's good. pretty good. You uh, for I, being a yeah. movie about a Disneyland ride, it's pretty good. Yeah. Com- See, when compared to its other counterpart, I mean, Haunted Mansion. So, I should, I should be... <laughs> the best movie. I should I've never be. seen that one either, but I know it's the best movie. I should be hyped for this a lot, but the fourth movie just made... It's, no. I can agree with that, but with Javier Bardem yeah, as a bad true. dude, that's, that's the only reason. That's, that's the only reason why I have it on yeah. my list, is because I want to see more of on Shiger. Javier Bardem yeah. is dope. Now, yes. next one is The Mummy. I refuse to be hyped for that movie because they killed Brendan Fraser. 
Yes, they did. Uh, pass. Yeah. We we'll just go to the next one. Yeah, that's yeah. what. We're not even not even worth mentioning. That's the next one. God, there's a, okay. Next one is Jordan Peele's directorial oh, debut, yeah. Get Out, and just the sentence oh, long synopsis. Sh- oh, I, I've seen the trailer. Oh, I shit. haven't seen the trailer, but the sentence long synopsis for it makes me no, so excited because is. I'll read this to you mm-hmm. and uh, just t- listen to this. A young African American man visits his Caucasian girlfriend's cursed family estate. Oh my yeah. god, that sounds so much fun. No, from your reaction, it sounded like the trailer was actually kind of scary, though. The trailer, the, the trailer was pretty f- fucking fucked up. It was, it like, that... Was it funny? Uh, I mean... The, like, in a black the, humor sort of way, the, maybe? He, sort of. In the beginning, he's kind of like, oh yeah, I'm a black guy visiting his white girlfriend's Caucasian family. Like, what could go wrong? Yeah. Like, that was like, the very first thing. As opposed to a black man visiting his white girlfriend's Asian family. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean... <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, man. No, I mean, the trailer was really, really good. I recommend you guys see it. If you're hyped for that movie, you should go see the trailer. Oh, I'm just hyped for it because of that sentence. Just because that one sentence, hilarious. yeah. See, I'm down for the whole movie. Does it have the same tone? So, f- from the trailer, does it have the same tone as Key and Peele? Or does it sound opposite? Because I know they really... It's, it's absolutely nothing like Key and Peele. Damn it. Like, you're key, like, you mean the comedians, right? Yeah, it's The directed, funny guys. It's, it's not, directed by the same dude. Jordan it's, Peele. Oh, well, it's not... The vibe that I, I mean, it's not the trailer wasn't funny. The trailer didn't pre- present it as a comedy. Well, so, well, they made it could just be a knows. twist. Yeah, like, maybe. Like a I mean, surprise, it actually is. Either know. way, I'm excited it's, for it. It's been a while since I've seen the trailer, but you guys will have to see for yourself. So the next one is uh, called The Shape of Water, directed by Guillermo del Toro. That's the only reason I put it on my list. Yep, I, same I just, here. I just like del Toro. I love I mean, del Toro. I'm I'm not a big horror fan. Pan's Labyrinth is awesome. Need to watch I haven't that seen one. it. Uh, Hellboy is close to my heart yeah, as very, one of my favorite movie. superhero movies ever, it's it's ever without a doubt. Good. First one was awesome, second one was okay, but still. Mm-hmm. And I love him so much, so I had to drive down to fucking Houston to meet Hellboy and Abe Sapien. Then, uh, Pacific, Rim. Pacific Rim is the most manly movie I've ever seen in my entire life. Fuck your Fast and Furious, Casey. Yeah. You want to see a manly movie? Watch Pers- monsters fighting fucking Fuck robots, robots. Okay. in the water. Fuck you. Oh right. my that god. That has been my lifelong passion since I was literally five years old. And I'm excited for the sequel because John Boyega is going to be Idris Ooh. Elba's kid. Ooh. I'm- and Boyega? Oh. Like, you guys don't know. You didn't follow him. You didn't see his earlier work. Have, have you either of you seen I've Attack the seen, Block? I've seen trailers and clips from Attack the Block. Of course you fucking have. You've seen I've, trailers and clips fucking everything. Like, I've only seen him in Star Wars. Attack the Block is like, it's 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 a fun fucking movie. Mm. It has the... It has, has the, some weird-ass shadow beast, it, too. It has the fat guy from uh, Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead and The World's End. The, the I realized club. that, yeah, I realized Nick Frost was in it. He plays a drug dealer. And then there's a bunch of fucking Cockney accents, and Boyega curses a lot, and I'm excited because he's I'm in Pacific Room too. Very much down for this. Yeah, we we didn't even talk about the movie that we were talking about. We we're talking about fucking Pacific Room too. Fuck it, I lo- I'm more excited for that. Honestly, yeah, but that's not confirmed. Are you? Yeah, it is. So it's confirmed. It's confirmed, and it started filming already. Nice. Yes. Very nice. Now, Casey, I know yes. you're. You, I think you're excited on this one, uh, Beauty and the Beast. I actually have not seen the animated movie Beauty and the Beast. I've seen clips, I've heard songs, I've, like, d- have a general sense of the storyline, but I have not seen Beauty and the Beast, like, the original movie, from front to end in one wow. setting. So, well, I, so, think, I mean, I mean, I'm... I, I thought you'd just be excited for it because Emma Watson, and I thought Brad would be excited for it because guess on... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm, I may actually just go watch Grandma Watson. Yeah. I'm, oh, God. I'm the big gay. I, have, I haven't seen any of their live action remakes yet. Because they made, uh, what was it? Maleficent was their first one mm-hmm. back in like 2013 seen that or something. Cinderella, which I Into the Woods. Right. They did Cinderella. I saw Into the Woods. Into the Woods was more of its own thing, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it, was, yeah it wasn't like a remake, thing, but yeah. they, it was it Disney. Was, I it was a live, it was it was Disney, a, it was a live action Disney, but it wasn't a remake of anything. It was an original concept. And then I can't remember what. I think they had one. Well, no, it wasn't an original concept. It was already based off of a play. Oh. Well, well the even woods. then, it wasn't yeah. like but yeah, yeah, it wasn't like a previous on-screen work. No, no, no. yeah, or even based on a book, yeah. from what I understand. Yeah, so you guys, you're, just, you're excited for it for a character, Brett, and you're excited for it for a lady. I love my big buff manly man. Yes, who's who's playing guess something? Else? I can't I don't know. remember. I just like big buff manly man. Okay, that's why I have a picture of Ryu on my wall from Street Fighter with, with no muscles. Shirt on. Do you really? Yeah, you go take a look. No, right the fuck after now. not right now. After, after we're you, fucking recording, because he has the decency to sit at the damn table and I had to ungunk my fingernails. Hey, fuck you. You really so, are the big gay. All right. The, the next biggest, one is 
Brett, this is yours. Which one is this one? It's uh, Ghost in a Shell. Yeah, Ghost, Ghost in the Shell. Shell. I need to watch the original, but it seems like an interesting concept. I just like cyberpunk aesthetic. So Never I can agree with that, but I just want to watch it because Scarlett Johansson, and she's pretty late. Yeah, I oh, know you I think I saw a commercial for it today, actually. I have or like I saw something about it to or today or yesterday. I'm excited for Scarlett Johansson. She's a okay. pretty lady. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the visuals look pretty nice in it from what I've seen. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a day, maybe even tomorrow, where I just watch Akira and Ghost in the Shell back it's to back. It's pronounced Akira. It's also pronounced Fa, and <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. No, it's pronounced folk you. <gasps> Next one. <laughs> Next one is mine, and that's because it's by the same dude who did Moon, and Moon is a really good movie. It, it stars Sam Rockwell and Kevin Spacey, and that's it, and they're on... <laughs> The moon, the moon. Okay. and it's really it's like a really good like psychological movie and it's it reddit fucking loves that movie so much like every other thread would be like you should fucking watch moon but i thought i think that movie is really good and why would i pay to go see it i can just walk outside the movie's called mute and uh, you should be after making that joke <laughs> <laughs> and it, i mean just look at the picture that they have showing for it i think it's based it's, off a graphic novel it's for mute you said yeah it's called mute. is it an animated movie uh no it's live action so it's just it's going to be based on that aesthetic okay. i think so that's just like a pick from the graphic novel yeah what's it about i don't know and i don't really care it looks kind of cyberpunk so i might pick that one up actually yeah. next one casey maybe you'll be excited mm -hmm. for this did you see kingsman yes i did yes sequel, sequel Ooh, coming fuck next yeah. year Ooh, Kingsman it's gonna be real good. nice yes and Channing Tatum is going to join the crew. Now that's going to be fucking dope. Okay, yeah. I yeah. I guess I like Channing Tatum. Like, I'm not like a diehard fan or anything. I, I only I'm, like him because... Have you seen 21 and 22 Jump Street? I've seen clips. That shows how good of a comedic and yeah, action actor he that can is be. True. Like, I walked into 21 Jump Street and I was like, eh, this is going to be okay. It was one of the funniest movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Then 22 Jump Street, they went in there like... Fuck it! And they just did whatever they wanted to and just threw it away. They're like, I don't care. Just watch the movie. And it was fucking hilarious. Oh my god. That was the first midnight premiere that I actually went to. Really? It was uh, 22 Jump Street. Yeah. Ooh. It was it's the last one I expected it to be. Now I see the next one is Wootless. What? Well, we, need to, we need to keep... No, that's way down... No, yes. it's it's you misspelled it on my thing. Oh yeah, that the is the next person. thing. And I uh, I can agree with this one because the cast, that's it. What is it? Weightless, but he spelled it W E U G H T less. I don't care. So it's 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 called Weightless. It's directed by Terrence Malick, who's supposed to be a really good director. Mm -hmm. And it's two intersecting love triangles set against the music scene in Austin, Texas. Now that's mm. okay, but the cast mm. like listen to the people I'm gonna list off in the cast. Ryan Gosling. Oh fuck yeah. Rooney Mara. Ooh. Uh, Michael Fassbender, mm -hmm. Kate Blanchett, Christian Bale, and Val Kilmer. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I know. God damn. And I, I mean, if they just stopped with Ryan Gosling, Rooney Mara, Michael Fassbender, I'd be like, yeah. Or the other half, yeah. Kate Blanchett, Christian Bale, and Val Kilmer. Yes. Yeah. But they put all of that together. Ooh. Ooh. It's me. My heart beating real fast. Just excited for Gosling myself. That one's... I know, good. because he did so good this year. Did with so Nice good. Guys and La La Land. He did. Mm -hmm. Perfect this year. He yes. was real good. Um, very, very much excited. You guys need to watch one of his other movies, which is uh, Crazy Stupid Love. It's actually a really good romantic comedy. I've seen clips of him in it. Of course. Both of you have seen fucking clips of everything. Yeah. No one's seen the damn movie. <laughs> this is why you're here, and that's why we can provide a fresh this take. This is why on I'm this. always on the damn podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I have to fuck off to space and visit my space family that are also space hillbillies who live in the backwoods of space. Okay, the next one is one all of us have low expectations for. Who are going to see it anyway. Wonder Woman. Yeah. yeah. I thought she did decent in yeah. BVS. I mean, but I've, I've, she I've didn't say anything. <laughs> she was I'm, in like 10 minutes. I've she only, was badass though. <laughs> she was badass, but yeah. 10 minutes. Well, I've only got low expectations just because it's DC. Like DC yep. has like lowered my expectations a lot with everything they're putting out. Mm. That completely makes sense. So, that, I mean, like... If it's I'm, good, it sweet. Looks, it looks, if it's bad, I won't be disappointed. Obviously still going to go see it. Obviously, yeah, obviously we're going to go see it. Yeah. But I'm I'm happy because it's going to be set against World War One. Yeah, yeah, actually, can we just jump down to the next one and just talk about Justice League 2? Yeah, we can Since it's, like, League thematic. Yeah, okay. yeah Justice League works. It's gonna, it, I think it's going to be the same thing. And I'm happy that I'm going to be seeing the Flash on the big screen. Mm -hmm. Well, and, technically, we've already seen him on the big screen. Have we? When? He was in... Suicide Squad. 
and oh well, and yeah, Batman versus not Superman. counting as fucking cameos. Okay, but yeah. like the actual. Okay, I mean, I'm confused of how much uh, Superman is going to be involved in it. Yeah, because they said at the end of Batman vs Superman, like Superman is going to be like back eventually, I guess, or for the. I don't remember if it was for the Justice League or just like probably for, for Justice League. Well, but he is going to be because they. You can't have picture. Justice League, but, so, uh, but he's not in the trailers at all, and they left him off dead. What in I Superman, think, so I don't what know exactly. I think Justice League is going to be about is it's going to be about them bringing Superman back. Okay, I think that I can see that's what it's going to be about, which is a shitty plot because yeah. that's used in like everything in in all team movies. Someone dies, boom! Next movie, bringing them back. Okay. I mean, they did in fucking Star Trek. They dedicate a whole goddamn movie. Search for Spock, number yeah. three. Oh, oh, are you talking about like the original movies? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen the original Star Trek. No, I haven't either. I've only okay. seen Wrath of Khan. They also did that for Khan. They also did that for uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Did you discuss? Oh yeah, because the third one was Jack about them searching for Jack Sparrow. Yeah, exactly. God weird damn it. crab purgatory. Yeah. yeah, weird crab purgatory. <laughs> okay. That's probably um, why I need to talk with my psychiatrist about my weird obsession with cribs. Cribs, you well, I've always had that though, because remember in high school with my crab keychain, yes. his name was Steve. Steve, he's still in the car. Crab. Now, ooh, Lego Batman movie. Yes, yes. That exactly. looks, it looks really, it looks good. really good. Despite being DC, it actually looks like a pretty decent. It looks, movie. it looks. Well, yeah. that's because they aren't doing it. Yeah. Lego's doing yeah, it. Yeah, Lego's doing it. Fucking whoever the animated. Well, it's Warner Brothers, yes, but it's like oh, it's the guy. I think was it the same team who did the Lego movie? Uh, no. It was an oh, actual. Not? No, it's not. Well, I know it's actually still in the Lego Movie universe. It is in the Lego Movie universe, yeah, because the same dude who played him in Lego well, Movie is Yeah, and him. they even mentioned like Master Builders or yep. whatever stuff. So it's the same fucking universe within the Lego Movie. But it's not the same people making it? Nope. Oh. No, it's not the same directors behind it. Oh, okay. You know who directed the Lego Movie? Who? People who directed 22 and 21 Jump Street. I'm really? not surprised. Yeah. Really? Wow, I'm not surprised. And I know, like both of them are like both. Yeah, two good. people. Yeah. No, I meant, I meant like both uh, Lego like movie and like, yeah. yeah. And Still not as weird as the good. weird Happy Feet Mad Max director. Yep, that doesn't combo. make any damn sense. The same dude who directed Mad Max is also known for directing Happy Feet. And those are his two like only things that he's the directed. The fuck? Yep. Yeah. I'm yep, dead yep. serious. And see, you wouldn't know that from our Mad Max review if someone didn't delete it. Yeah, I accidentally deleted it. Really? I, yeah. Oh, that's right. I think you talked about this before. It's, that's sad. Some Congratulations. Bitch. Yeah. Well, to be fair, the share buttons and the delete button they're on right my recording, yeah, they're right fucking next mm -hmm. to each other. But I'm also excited for this movie because I can actually see Harley Quinn on the big screen without being fucked up. <laughs> Is Harley Quinn going to be in this? Like, it's probably a small amount. Yeah, and she was in the trailers. Oh, okay, yeah. Because yeah. the Joker's in there. I saw Harley Quinn as a figure in there. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited because Ray Fiennes is, sounds like a sassy asshole. He plays Alfred and uh -huh. uh, from the trailers. Yeah, yes. it's gonna be. Ooh, he looks. He looks like the callback to the other Batman movies was fantastic. That and then Zach Galifianakis is uh, Joker. Really? Yep. Really? Yep. Of Zach all people, Zach Galifianakis is Joker and Michael Sarah is Robin. That one I can see. Yeah. They're, 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 I think the well, casting is really, really good. Well, because like the Robin in this movie is a fucking awkward bitch. No, he's a little baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> And Michael Sarah, that makes He's sense. A little baby, baby boy. boy. <laughs> You're okay. I'm only like halfway down my list, man. I'm about done. Ooh, next one, John Wick two. John Wick was such a good action movie. I need to see it. What pisses me off is that one and Lego and the Lego Batman movie come out on the same weekend. Oh, are you serious? Yep. Well, I'm picking Lego Batman. Well, I'm I'm probably I'm gonna end up seeing both, obviously. But yeah. John Wick was like a quality action movie, and it brought Keanu Reeves back. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he was ass. the main character. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I haven't seen the first. And oh, Theon Greyjoy is in that movie. Really? Yes. Ooh. Theon Greyjoy. Yeah. Game of Thrones. Is it the name Bitch. of the character? Yes. Yeah, it's okay. the name of the character. That, that didn't sound it's like a real, real person. person. No, so I was like, not. that's obviously a character. Yeah. As opposed to what's his name? Um... Uh, Scatman Carruthers, who's a real person. That made me lose my who fucking he, mind. Wait, he was he was the caretaker in The Shining. The guy that's who, right. Yeah. That's Scatman right. Carruthers oh, shows shit. right on the screen right before the movie. We talked about that. Yeah, I remember that. Scatman yeah, we were. To, I'm gonna go into the story on that one real fast. Okay. So Quinn and I, <laughs> we were in line at the Dallas Comic Con, and we were like waiting for hours upon hours to see Jay and Silent Bob, and uh, we were just. We were, we were, I was delirious, Quinn was delirious, and we were talking about fucking, I don't know what, what brought it up, we were like, Quinn was like, yeah, you could be like Scatman Crows, I'm like, there's no way it's a real person's name, and Quinn's like, yeah, it was, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is the most, like, shocked I have ever been in my life. Yeah? Because, like, 
Scatman Crosby. Scat Either that was a name he chose for himself, which that is as seventies as it gets, <laughs> or that is his actual birth name, which is. And his parents just hate perfect. him so much. That's that, fine. Who cares? Yeah. We might. No, actually, yeah. Next one is the movie. I think this may be my most hyped movie for the next year. Like honestly, I'm. This may be number one because. The Planet of the Apes movies so far have been uh, fucking killing it. Mm. Rise of and Dawn of were so good, and this one looks mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, oh my four, god. The Planet of the Apes. I've only seen the first one. I just, I don't. I mean, it, like the, the first, original first one? No, like the, the, the first one. The, the, James the Franco? New, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I like, I, it was good. I liked it. I don't, I don't know why I never saw the second one. I guess I was just lazy. The second one was a lot better, I think. Okay. But this one is going to be fucking good because Woody yeah. Harrelson plays the bad dude. Yes. He and does. he is, he's a really good actor. He is. Mm. He's the guy who played uh, T Tallahassee in Zombieland. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tallahassee is dope. I yeah. liked him. Yeah. yeah. Zombieland is one I've seen. And surprisingly. He's, he's also going to be in that new movie directed by In Bruger's guy. In Burgers? In Burgers, yeah. In Burger King, yeah. yeah. I, I love In Burger King. But so, yeah, I'm really fucking hyped for that movie. Because, man. The dude, uh, I always forget his name. Um, the guy who does the motion. Oh, did he, he, he did? Yeah, uh, the motion capture god. Gollum. Uh, oh, Snoke. Snoke. Andy Circus. Andy Circus. That's what yeah, he's saying. Yeah, yeah. He's Andy Circus. He's so good. Yeah, he's, uh, he's he playing one of the there. monkeys. He's yeah, no, he's, he's Caesar. The, he's yeah. the, the main, main monkey. monkey. Yeah, he was Caesar. He was mm -hmm. Gollum. He mm -hmm. was uh, Snoke. He was fucking uh, he was King Kong in the original King Kong by Peter Jackson. Does he provide the voices too, or he does the voice for Caesar? Yeah, okay. and he did the voice for Snoke. The, but he didn't do it for Smeagol or Gollum. No, he did do it for Smeagol. Okay, yeah. so in that case, he's just a good voice actor too. Yeah, he's right. really he's a really good actor, but no one ever fucking sees him <laughs> because, because he's always he's, CGI. He's CGI. Yeah. Yeah. And then we already talked about Justice League. Mm -hmm. Um... Next one I'm excited for, but no one else is because you haven't fucking seen the movie because no one fucking sees the movie, is Okja, which is by the same dude who directed The Host, which I have not seen yet, but also, uh, what are you doing? Oh, it's just, oh yeah, O-K-J-A. Yeah, I was okay. wondering how you, I was already pronouncing that right. And it's, uh, and it's by the same dude who did uh, Snowpiercer, which is... Uh, I, I'm, I know what that is, I haven't seen it. <laughs> But yeah, it's, I've seen I've it on my Netflix. I've seen it on my Netflix queue. My sister has seen it, and I like walked by the room it's, when it's, she was it's, watching it's it. It's a it's a pretty good action movie. It's a okay. it's a pretty good action movie directed by this Korean dude, and uh, it stars Chris Chris Evans for yeah yeah, yeah for that one. yeah he does yeah yeah. But this this next one's gonna star Jake Gyllenhaal, who's Ooh. who's I, I I love him so much because uh, not because because he was in Donnie Darko. Oh yeah, he was the main guy. Yeah, he was Donnie but, Darko. But that's not the movie that I love him from. I love him from two movies. Prisoners, which Never is seen. a really, really good movie. That's that's one of those that's one of those movies that you watch and you like get really fucking into I've it. I've never even heard of it. And the and, it, and then the other one is Nightcrawler, and that mm -hmm. movie is fucking well. I not to be confused with Nightcrawler from the X Men franchise. Yes. Okay. I love him because he's like my great to the twenty seventh power grandfather. That's only because he's in fucking Prince of Persia. Yeah, bitch. exactly. A all right. Hey, fuck it. He's in fucking Which is based on a fucking video game. Next yeah. one is Train Spotting. Train Spotting 2, Electric Boogaloo. Because I love me some uh, full Irish Ewan McGregor. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Obi. And, uh, Obi Wan. Mm -hmm. yeah. And man, the first one is. As long as he doesn't go spotting about the uh, high ground, I'm, you know, I'm going to be okay with What's... this. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen the first one. I have the high ground, Anakin. You can't win. Oh my oh, fucking god! Okay. Fuck you! But man, clearly the only strategy you need in war. But I mean, man, Train Spotting I mean, One is is really is a weird movie. It's not quite funny, but it's not quite a drama. It's like both, and it's fucking, that, would you say it's similar to In Bruges in terms of tone? Not not at all. Okay. No way. In Bruges is a lot more serious. Okay. Oh, in it's a lot opinion. more serious. In Bruges is a lot more serious. Okay, yeah. so it's like In Bruges it turns into comedy a little bit more. And instead of suicide, you focus on drugs. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there were drugs in In Bruges too. But yeah, but this one is entirely like focused, focused on, on drugs, drugs. Yeah. heroin specifically. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's kind of fucked up. And then oh, another one just for me stars Oscar Isaac again. Mm -hmm. Annihilation, which is directed by the same dude who did uh, Ex Machina. Okay. And Ex Machina, that was that was that was one of the best movies of 2015. It it put and what's really funny is Ex Machina stars two main people besides the girl is Oscar Isaac mm -hmm. and Dom Hall Gleason. Dom okay. Hall Gleason is the same dude who played uh, General Hux in Star Wars. And you want to know who that dude's dad is? Who? 
Mad Eye Moody, that's right. Mad Eye Moody, and yeah. he played uh, one of the Weasleys in. He played Percy Weasley in yeah, Harry he, Potter. He played one of, in, not one, one of the one twins, of but like no, like what he was old, older than the twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, he he played. Uh, he was. Uh, yeah, he's. He, and they're related. Yeah. yeah, I'm just excited for that hmm. because Ex Machina fucked me in the brain real goddamn hard. Then Baby Driver. I Edgar put, Wright. I put that on. Oh yeah, it's because Edgar Wright. Yeah, because yeah, Edgar Wright. Who's Edgar he Wright. He's, He's the guy. Mind. Hot Fuzz. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Okay. Shaun of the Dead. Okay. Uh, the other one in the Cornetto trilogy. He was supposed to do Ant Man, but then okay. he got cut from it. But half of his script was still used for the movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then The World's End. Okay. All right. And yeah, no, that's about the only reason. But it's it's the the concept sounds funny enough i mean it has that music take to it which is like it's basically about a getaway driver who's just obsessed with music right yeah, yeah, yeah. music obsessed getaway driver yeah i mean and, it's and his like girlfriend gets kidnapped but i'm so. sad because it doesn't have simon Pegg in it yeah but i mean you could his stuff works without simon Pegg, as evidenced by scott absolutely Pilgrim. scott pilgrim's like one of my favorite movies yeah of course but, but still I, and then my monster movie of the year, mm -hmm. fucking Kong Skull Island. That's going to be Dude, tough. Dude, that That's trailer be... looks fucking dope. It compared looks. to Godzilla, Kong will always be second banana to me. Can, but... Compared to the American Godzilla... That, this yeah. dude. No, I agree with that yeah. one. I haven't even seen the American but Godzilla. Shit, I heard it was Godzilla. shit. It was. I heard he got like 13 minutes of screen time or something seven. like that. Seven. Seven minutes of screen time. There was one good moment. That's, that's because that director... Kept the idea of, oh, hey, let's keep the monster, like, under wraps. Kind of like Jaws. He was trying to pull, like, a Jaws vibe where you don't but see But it doesn't fucking work. Because it's, it's Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> it worked with um, Jaws because the fucking shark looked like shit. <laughs> well, that and, like, Jaws is a new character. Godzilla, yeah. people go in, like, already knowing who it is. Yeah. No one's going to go seeing a new Godzilla movie not knowing who fucking see, Godzilla that's is. That's why Kong looks awesome, because they they don't care. They're like, yeah. look at this fucking monkey. He's going to beat the shit out of everything. And I'm like, mm. yes! It's the year of the... It's Harambe. Oh my. Yeah. All right, they're bringing nice. it back. War for the Planet of the Apes Ooh. and Kong in one year. It's not coincidence. It's the Illuminati. They're bringing back Harambe. R.I.P. in peace, you beautiful press, angel. Press the purple of Unitinu 2020. Straight up, right there. Boom. He's from, the Apes party. My homeboy from Ohio. <laughs> May he rest in peace. <laughs> it's Harambe for America exactly. moving forward or whatever the fuck he'll He wouldn't be one of the first presidents from Ohio. There's been at least three or four. Weren't there like, and one of them was named Cleveland. He wasn't there, from Ohio, though. Weren't there like 17,000 people who voted for him in the uh, election? Yeah, there were a lot of yeah. fucking people that voted for him. See, if I had known I could have voted for him, I would have. There's a write-in ballot. Yeah. I, well, I didn't know. I didn't see the write-in ballot on the electronic ballot. Yeah, here. oh, that's true. But uh, next one... <laughs> this is one. Thank, I hope they bring. I hope they don't yes. do bad. Now movies. let's go ahead and do a block of Marvel movies here. Yeah, because we got. Cause we like did the three we did the DC block. Which one is this? Yeah. Logan. Okay. Because right. X Men Apocalypse made me sad. Yeah, it was. Same. It was all right. Now I will say this: the best part of the movie was the Wolverine cameo. Exactly. Yeah, I would agree. The Wolverine cameo was fucking because it was fucking brutal too. Uh -huh. Oh man, he's he's. he's... <laughs> Berserker Barrage, Swiss cheese, Swiss mm, exactly. cheese, Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese. I used that against my friend when I was playing Marvel vs. Capcom against him yesterday, and he was fucking pissed. In Marvel vs. Capcom, well, Quinn and I only played the game once. I played Wolverine, and I used one move where Wolverine just stabs repeatedly in the chest while screaming Swiss cheese. And I never played that game with him again. Because I am a bitch with fighting games. Yeah, I fucking great. hate you so much. But no, uh, Old Man Logan, I mean, it's Logan. Logan, but it's based on Old Man Logan. Or yeah, at least, like, it's, pretty it's much. It's old Logan, so... But it's from the Red Band trailer. It looks dope as hell. Mm. I'm excited. Oh, for it. so you know Hugh Jackman actually had a nickname growing up. Was it Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jacked Man. Yeah, that's, fucking that's makes sense. Was. Yeah, because well, he's it, fucking huge. In well, general. now I mean, he is. Yeah, now he's. I, I don't know when he had it in X Men like, One. He was. I, I don't know when like he had that. it, but I know that he's definitely a nickname he has. Huge it's, Jacked Man. It, it was just too obvious. It wasn't yeah. like that when he was in X Men One. In X Men One, he's like a stick. Yeah. He's got some muscle, but he's not built he's like, not he, built he, like was he was for yeah. uh, Wolverine, uh, he the Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine yeah. or this one, where his yeah. fucking muscles everywhere. And I'm really excited because it's another rated R uh, X Men movie. Mm -hmm. and is it rated R? Yes, it is. Dude, the Red Man trailer has like his claws going through a dude's skull. Oh, upwards. I didn't see oh, that. Shit. Yeah, just, oh, I think I remember that. Oh, fuck yeah. Yes. yes. And considering how and well, set to Johnny Cash is hurt. Which is depressing mm -hmm. as shit. Yeah. Yes. But that that movie's gonna be good because they did really well with Deadpool, and I hope mm -hmm. they can take that 
with what they did with that rated R movie and moving like the over to part. a serious. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. Deadpool yeah. was a lot of jokes and I, they they Which, cannot fuck this up. Deadpool was dope. Like, Deadpool, no, yeah, of course. Yeah. But I mean, like, if they, like you're saying, if they can take that, like, the action in it was hardcore. It was cool. Yeah. And if they did that and make it serious with Logan, like you said, I'm down. They, mm-hmm. they But if I'm they so fuck this down. up, I'm going to be so mad. All right. It looks, it because the trailer looks so good. Next one. Next up on the Marvel block. Thor Ragnarok. Oh, yeah. I didn't put that on my list. What? Okay, the last Thor movie was, like, Thor our, two, our junior movie. year, right? Yes, it, it was. was our junior year. That yeah, was yeah, a that's long why I time passed ago. on it because I wasn't hella deep in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's and even like, then, Thor just wasn't that, my character. That's almost four years ago. That's like three, almost four years ago, right? Three years. Three years, yeah. It's like three years sophomores ago. now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was like three years ago. Like, what the... Like, I... So, I don't know what they're going to be doing with it. But, mm. like, what are they... Again, Where are they taking it? Well, what's, I'm what's probably gonna Thor going to wa- be doing it? I'm probably going to have to watch the other. Probably for, like, another Infinity Stone or some shit. Is, um... Uh, Doctor Strange gonna be in it? Cause he, cause he, yeah. I, and credits here. Yeah. See, in that case, I'll probably watch it for Doctor yeah. Strange. Doctor but... Strange and Hulk. This Seriously. is where Hulk is. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. He's gonna be in Ragnarok because That's he disappeared after Age of Ultron. Mm. He Remember? Did didn't he? And he wasn't in Civil War. Is where he is. Hmm. Yeah. Is that confirmed or is that just theory? That's confirmed. One hundred percent. Yeah. All right, I'm and down then for that. Guardians of the Galaxy two. Man, Absolutely, yes. of course. Guardians of the Galaxy probably remains my top Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. I would, I would almost agree with that, but I love Ant Man too much. Yeah, you I love, love it, and I agree Ant-Man with you. Too. That's in my top three. Yeah, I can agree with it. I fucking love Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, what's the yeah. other one? What's the other one in your top three? Ah, uh, that is a tough choice. Because that would be the one that is below Guardians but above Ant Man. Yeah, I might bump Ant Man up to number two and put Doctor Strange up my third, probably because of okay. recency Doctor, bias. Doctor Strange, not Civil War. Yeah, mm. Civil War was alright. I thought Civil War was better than Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, I was in... Mm. Probably just because, like, Civil War felt muddied to me because it was just, like, too many characters, but Doctor Strange was, like, a focused one-character experience. Which okay. I liked. Plus, it was, like, an off-the-beaten-path character that I hadn't seen much of before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's probably why I enjoyed it just a bit more. But, yeah, I'm excited for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Oh, hot damn. Baby Groot. Yes. Toddler Groot. Baby Groot. Toddler Groot. Uh, they say Baby Groot. They yeah, well, baby. still. Either way, uh, I am... Super excited for Baby it. Baby Groot. Because, like, honestly, the characters in Guardians of the Galaxy besides Groot aren't even, like, in my favorite Marvel characters. It's just their dynamic. And their yeah. comic is garbage right now. Thank yeah. you, Bendis. Yeah, and that's why I dropped it. Fucking Bendis. Well, they have bitch. Venom in the thing in space. Venom in space is dope. Yeah. yeah I'm, actually, yeah, you were reading that Venom Space Night series. Not anymore. Got Marvel got weird. They, sh- okay. they shot Venom into space, and he's a space knight. And, and now, they, apparently, now apparently he's back. Wait, you Venom from Spider Man? Right? Yeah, yeah. Fucking like why? Why is he in space? I was gonna say Brock Lesnar. That's a wrestler. Yeah. No, I can't remember. Yeah, it's like Brock something though, right? I I can't remember. No, it's not Brock Samson because it's no. Nature Bros. But yeah, <laughs> no, Brock be, Samson with a symbiote. That would be badass. That'd be fucking terrifying. That's what that that'd would be, be amazing. But yeah, Marvel got weird, and from what I understand. Right now, in that comic book, the Guardians of the Galaxy have been spread out across space, and they are grounded where they are, and then now the dude who was writing it is leaving, and someone else has to pick up the trash from there. Yeah, because I know Star-Lord now is a solo series, but he, was, he wasn't even part of the Guardians of the Galaxy in the first place nope. in this new one. And then Rocky Raccoon's getting a solo series, Gamora has a solo series, yeah. Drax has a solo series. Drax has had a solo series, though. Yeah, his started... Yeah. And then Venom has a solo series. And I know Groot had a six-issue series that I picked up. Which, yeah. And then there's Rocket Raccoon and Groot, which is a duo series. Rocket Raccoon has a new issue coming out this week. Yeah. First, uh, first issue. I'm passing on that one. For, like, the time. third time in the past two years. Yeah. But, I mean, there was also... But I would say Rocket Raccoon and Groot as the duo series. I dropped it at some point just because of subscription bloat, but yep. I was enjoying it. It, it, was, it was good. It was Scotty Young, so yeah, it was why, good. That's why it was good. And then the next and the last Marvel movie we're talking about today. Which is pr- actually, that's probably the one I'm most excited for. Most in terms of Marvel movies, I can agree. Well, no, because I like I want Logan more than I want this one. Yeah. But Spider Man. Spider Man Homecoming. Yes. Because at first okay. I was skeptical, but after seeing some of the trailers they were playing at the Draft mm-hmm. House, yep. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. I can agree. Plus, I think the dude who did uh, Spider Man, the guy who played him mm-hmm. for like the. 15, 20 minutes that he was in Civil War. Yeah. I thought he did really good. Yeah, he did, yeah I think he did, he did the character justice. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I mean, but like, like, keep in mind, the very last thing we saw Spider-Man in was Amazing Spider-Man 2, which I didn't even see. I didn't watch any of the I heard it was bad, though. I heard it was bad, right? Spider-Man 2 was bad. Spider-Man 1 was bad. No, the, the, or Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 1. 1, one was garbage. 2 okay. was garbage. 
two, two suffered from the exact same problem that Spider-Man 3 suffered from. Too many damn villains. Okay. Because Spider-Man 2 had, who was it, Rhino, they had Green Goblin, and they had Electro. Okay, yeah. I can and see they were, none of them were really good. And then, uh, and they decided to put those three villains into one of the most pivotal stories that Spider-Man has ever had, which is stupid. Oh, yeah, because that was like the black suit Spider-Man, which is like a huge... No, that was Spider-Man Man 3. Oh, Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man Spider 2. Oh, I thought the... we were talking about Spider-Man Oh, we were so talking about Gwen Stacy's death? Yep, Gwen yeah. Stacy's death. Gwen Stacy died at the yeah, end. Yeah, even I know that. Fucking like... stupid. And they, and they put too many villains in it. The only... Go there are two good Spider-Man movies, and that's the OG Spider-Man 1 and the OG Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 1, and the only reason they're good, Tobey Maguire did an okay job mm -hmm. playing Spider-Man, but the villains in those movies are perfect. The guy yeah. who played Dr. Octopus is yeah. a really, really good actor, and I don't see him in fucking anything, which makes me mad. And then the original Green Goblin was that awesome. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yep. I actually agree with you on that. Yeah. I like Spider Man Three was it. I haven't watched him in forever. So. Yeah, I I I also liked uh, fucking Batman and Robin as a kid, but you know we we all make bad decisions. <laughs> bad decisions. <laughs> bad nipples. Oh, Wait, are we talking Adam West, Batman and Robin? No, no. Like, I wish. What was it? Joel Schumacher. Joel Schumacher, George Clooney, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was the one that I watched at, uh, like, my seventh birthday Ooh, or something. Okay. We all got batarangs and I so threw them at people. Let's, uh, let's move on. All right. Next one is Alien Covenant. Which I am hyped to shit for. I need to watch Prometheus, and I'm I'm going to put myself through the other Alien movies I have not watched. But Three after, and four? Yes. Don't do it. I'm going don't to do, do it. Don't do it. They don't count, even count them as canon anymore. I'm going to do it anyway. I've only, I've only seen the first Alien movie. Which is the good. Very, very Aliens very is good. With Sigourney Weaver. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, she's in all of the four. I mean, like the very, no, very she's in the first three. She's not in the fourth. She's one, in the fourth one. one. Oh, wait, what's the yeah, resurrection? She is, she is, yeah. Yeah. Wait, so are there th four alien movies and then Prometheus? Yeah, Alien, Aliens, yeah. Alien Three, Alien Resurrection, Prometheus, which is part of the canon, which and I need to watch it, which alien is going to be carrying this one. And alien oh, yeah, so Covenant. what would you recommend watching? Alien, Aliens, and maybe Prometheus. It'd probably be good to get an idea of the canon on this one. Yeah, okay. Just like a lore. I'm but only watching Alien, Aliens, and Prometheus. I refuse to watch the other two because they're trash. After they're trash. watching Alien and Aliens this past year, it's probably one of my favorite franchises of all yeah, time. Yeah, you got real into that because you were like, I need the pop figure, and then I sent you those prints, and you were like, that's and I need to, I need to find the Alien pop figure. And there's an Alien Queen I could buy in Hot Topic. It's not going to sell anytime soon. Yeah. So I can probably get that at some point. I just need space. The Xenomorph but, is really easy to find around yeah. October. Is it? Okay, I'll keep an eye on that. Because that's when uh, all the Halloween yeah. pops, like Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Mike Predator. Myers, Predator, yeah, yeah. all of them. But I mean, I absolutely adore the design of the Xenomorph. It yep. is possibly the coolest creature ever put to screen. H.R. Geiger is a goddamn master. Yeah. And I... He's, uh, like, he's even creeping up the Godzilla levels of adoration for me. And wow. That is, and that, that that's is like hard. In, that's like in like six months. Yeah. Jesus, man. It is amazing. And like, the trailer the trailer for Alien Covenant was okay, I think. I yeah. haven't seen it, which I'm trying to keep my expectations. I'm keeping my expectations a little bit low just because Understandable yeah. because Prometheus was like I said, was okay. Mad. Yeah. And I don't want Ridley Scott to fuck up again. Yeah. The last movie he made was The Martian, which was awesome. He made he made The Martian. He's the guy who directed The Martian. Yeah. I need to talk to you about that as well, because I saw the movie after reading the we'll book. We'll talk about this yes. after recording. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. After, you after can do that while I'm cooking dinner. Exactly. Okay. And watching Greasy Strangler. Yes. But, but uh, I am excited for this movie nonetheless. I like Michael Fassbender as an alien or as an android. He's mm -hmm. really good as an android. I just need to watch Prometheus. Yep. All right. Uh, we we're about done movies. on my list. I believe Quentin has three or four more. Three more. And I you have, have two. You, yeah. Two of mine Same, overlap with yeah. yours anyway. Yeah. First one is Dunkirk. Yeah, that's... Yes. New Christopher Nolan mm -hmm. and Tom Hardy. Yes. Okay. Done. Decision yeah. made. It's a war movie with Christopher Nolan. How can war you? movie? It's, Christopher Nolan and Tom fucking Hardy. It's uh, Invasion of Normandy, right? That's where it's... I, or it's, it's Evacuation of France. Evacuation yeah. of France. Is that during World War One or two? Must two. have been during World War Two. Okay. Because France... There was battles in France during mm -hmm. World War One, but I don't believe there's any evacuations. Okay. All but right. Man... Tom Hardy and Christopher Nolan make a really good team because mm -hmm. they did Inception together. They did uh, Dark Knight Rises. Uh, Bane was good. Yeah. Movie was okay. But yeah. They I thought did... Bane... Oh, I'd hated Bane in Dark Knight Rises. You just didn't like him because he kept grabbing his damn coat. That and I just... 
<sighs> he wasn't. He wasn't Bane to me. Bane to me is a big I ass prefer Luchador. that Bane over the fun that we got in fucking <laughs> Batman and Robin. That is true, but I'm saying I like Luchador Smart Bane from the comics. Luchador Smart Bane doesn't work uh, because the, he, if he because then he, if he has the venom and you want him jacked, then he isn't smart. But if you want him smart, then he's like the Bane that was in yeah, Batman it's Rises. A, it's a I like that personally. I that's just that's just my taste. Yeah. Though I will say his newest thing in I Am Suicide arc that one i didn't like him yeah it was a weird naked bane it was i can yeah, agree it, it, it didn't he, he was the last issue cool. on that one's pretty good I yeah think. that was it was a good i thought it was a decent arc you haven't read the like, last issue have you uh, i have actually oh, i am okay. suicide arc i have yeah issue 13 i think yeah because i did my batman stack oh, okay the other day okay i'm then, like three weeks behind on comics then the next one is blade runner 2049 that's not the last one that's i said the next one. Oh, the next one the, the next last one, one. And you, Casey, have a reason to be excited. Harrison Ford, Ryan Gosling. And you know who's the director? Who? Same dude who directed Arrival. Ooh, Ooh fuck yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, wait, is it, it, I haven't seen any original Blade Runner movies. It's, if there are, there's yeah, only I'm one. completely... Okay, I'm completely... Yeah, it's, it's just the... That's the one that's cyberpunk to smoke in like where it's about the, the synths, right? It's like the sci-fi movie. Yeah. If you ask people, what, what movie should I watch to get into sci-fi? They'll say, like, Blade Runner or Alien. Yeah. But, like, Blade Runner is always up there. It's, like, See, one of the okay. best ever. About the only thing I know about Blade Runner is they have this... Like, one of the guns was in Fallout New Vegas. Yep. As that gun. Which yeah. seems dope as shit. Like, the name of the gun in the game is that gun. Is that gun. Okay. Yeah, like, capital T. Sure. Capital G. And I also know it's about replicants or, like, like androids yeah. that are so close to human, you really don't know if they're human. And I'm, and I'm excited because Harrison Ford is going to a movie that he wants to be in. Because he fucking hates being in Star Wars. So See, for a, yeah, second I thought, I, for a second I thought he Harrison does. Ford was actually dead, and then I just remember, no, it's just Han who's dead. <laughs> yeah, no, cause Spoilers he, for episode 7. Cause, oh, what the fuck ever. No, because he, uh, he, like, he said in an interview that like he wanted them to kill off Han, right? Yeah, he fucking hates being Han and yeah. Indiana Jones so much. Really? That's what everybody knows him as. Which is... Com that and Blade Runner. He was the original Blade Runner. Was he actually? Yes, that's that's what that's that's one that he's actually proud of because it's an it's like a cinematic thing. Whereas the other two are like fandom. Mm -hmm. While they're also they're still really good, but it it it, just it makes blew him up mad too much because that's what people always ask him about. And I will never forget there was an interview on Conan, and I don't know if this was planned or what, but they were doing an interview with Harrison Ford and the thousand dollar thing. No, not the thousand. Right, I don't think it was a thousand dollar thing. All right. But uh, he was doing an interview with Harrison Ford, and this dude who worked on the show came up and he was like, can you sign my Lego Millennium Falcon? And he <laughs> grabbed it and went, Soop! and just threw it behind him and it burst into a thousand pieces. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> that's amazing. I, but it could have been planned, and it probably was, but still, he really doesn't if, like Because if it wasn't planned, it. that seems like just PR suicide. Yeah, he really doesn't like oh, talking shit. about fucking Star Wars and Indiana Jones, but he likes this project. Which is why I think he'll actually put a lot of effort behind it. Well, even if Harrison Ford doesn't like talking Star Wars, Ryan we love and we love talking Star Wars here, don't we? Yes, and I was about to. We can go into that in one minute. I just want to say I'm excited because Ryan Gosling's in it. And Ryan Gosling, like I said, he's been doing real good this year. Yes, gonna be good in this one. Mm -hmm. Last movie, Star Wars Aid. Woo! Do we have, do we have a subtitle yeah. for it yet, or? Uh, the saga continues. Ray teams up with Luke, take on Kylo Ren while finding her parents. That's it. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be J.J. Abrams that's directing it, right? No, no it's this, the same they're dude. They're handing who, off directors in each movie. It's right? the same dude who directed Looper. I haven't Which, seen oh, Looper. I haven't seen it, but I've heard that. You would love that. Yeah, no, I know I would love that. I love me some Bruce Willis. So And Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah. yeah, so uh, that would be dope as hell. I need yeah. to see it. Yeah, you would love it. Star Wars 8. I'm, the, I, I, w I would say it's the one that I'm most hyped for, but it's not. It's still War for the Planet of the Apes, which is stupid. But, God. See, like, the. Episode 7 didn't leave a bad taste in my mouth. It just left me lukewarm. Yeah, I can agree, because it was a direct copy of fucking uh, yeah. episode. Well, I mean, but that's like, warm. that's what we needed. Like, I agree. Yeah. Star Wars fan base, that's what we needed. I can completely agree. Yeah, because I agree. Yeah. If they did a new thing, you know, the last time they did the fucking new thing, they did goddamn the prequels, Good and look God. how that fucking turned yeah. out. And even then, it kind of ties into the central theme, where it's, like, at least a, it's at least a core part of Star Wars for me, is that things are cyclical. Yeah. And always mm -hmm. there is a cycle to this world, this universe. Yep. There's always going to be a war. There's always going to be a struggle between light and dark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's just how I see it. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it, but 
I mean, I'm going in with high expectations because they've done these really. I thought yeah. they did decently well in the past two. Yeah, I mean, yes. I, yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm just not going to be like singing its praises. Is yeah, what I'm saying. Well, at least for now. For now, if I yeah. see it and it blows my mind, I'm well okay with that. I'm I just would, going in with. I would say the second in the trilogies are always the best. Dark Knight, uh, Empire Strikes Back, all that kind of stuff. The Clone Wars. That's what I was gonna say. Is it's like, but then you go to attack uh, the clones, and you're like, ah, nah. I mean, yeah. See, the, the sequels. Jurassic sometimes, Park two. Sometimes they're really fucking good. You get yeah. like Batman um, Returns, the one with Penguin and Catwoman, which was awesome. Well, that was also a weird Burton take on it. I'm too. completely fine with that because Danny DeVito did a perfect, a fucking ah, pun intended yeah, with Catwoman in there. Oh my god. I don't care. The Catwoman's still in the movie, so it counts. He did a perfect um, penguin. Penguin, penguin yeah. yeah. He did a perfect penguin, and then Dark Knight, obviously. Oh, Terminator Term 2. Terminator 2, yeah. yes. Um, but then you get to some other ones where it's just like, oh man, Cars 2. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or Iron Man 2, or Thor 2. Well, Iron Man 2 is not as bad as Iron Man 3, from what I've heard. That's true, but uh, Iron Man 2 is still fucking garbage. Yeah, it yeah. is. Well. And the only reason Iron Man 3 is bad is because they had a really good villain, then they fucked it up. <laughs> oh my, yeah, they did. I forgot about that. They did. Uh, mm hmm Oh, man. So, I think that's that covers us for hype movies. Damn, this is long. Hour and 15 yeah. minutes. That's my fault. Yeah, well, I mean, it also Casey and I going to that yeah, you like fucking Power Rangers, bitch. ten minute rant Dude. about Power Rangers. It's a well warranted though. It Dude, is definitely up. very well warranted. They better not fuck it up. Oh, they I will fucking riot. Better not. I will. I will murder a bitch. No. I will use Casey as a weapon to Asshole. beat them. Yeah. To I fuck you. Well, you're gonna be kind of like my Megazord. Thank you. Yes, yeah. I accept now. I'm just saying, like, you're a weapon, but you're more like a tank. That I'm like, I'm gonna be. Are you calling him fat, you bitch? Yes. And on that, okay. we'll see you guys at the end of 2017 for our retrospective, if we keep it that long. Yeah. We can go back and look at our predictions and see We'll see we you at the next movie review, which hopefully will be silence. Yeah. So, just the, the record, like, the, the movie review, we just will be silence. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> yeah.